Hey everybody, it's Hajigun Leap Up. Last time we completed the Forest Temple, and this time, we're going to fight the boss. I am very low on hearts, and I did not do well on my practice file. On my practice file, I died. I lost the fairy, um, because I took so much damage, I was failing it, and I got down to half a heart before beating it. I did not get a game over, but let's hope I don't this time. Evil Spirit from Beyond, Phantom Ganon. Okay, so you're going to want to be spinning around, looking at all the uh, pictures to see where he's going. There he is. You need to shoot him with an arrow. <coughs> Just like that. Um... He is there, but sometimes he will fake you out, and then he'll attack and do a lot of damage. There, sometimes he has multiple guys going through portraits. Did I just seriously do it without taking any damage? I did! <laughs> now we're on a second phase. He's gonna shoot a ball back and forth. We have to volley back. Ouch. Oh, come on. Okay. Very good. Okay. Almost dead. Man, I'm doing pretty well. Whoa, I haven't seen that attack before. Ouch. He forgot he volleyed it back twice there. Or thrice, okay. Huh, taking a lot of damage. Oh, crap, 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 go. I do have a fairy, right? Yeah, I'm good. What? Another time? That's not right. How many times does he volley back? Okay. Man! Okay. <laughs> hey kid, you did quite well. It looks like you may be gaining some slight skill, but you have to defeat only my phantom. When you fight the real me, it won't be so easy. What a worthless creation that ghost was. I will banish it to the gap between dimensions. Okay, let us get a heart container. Ah, very good. We now have 12 hearts. That's incredible. I do need to talk uh, rather loud, and the music is very low, because every single time I upload anything with the song in it, claimed instantly. So, uh, I'm sorry if the music is gone from this. 
Thank you. Because of you, I could awaken as a sage. I am Saria, the sage of the Forest Temple. I always believed that you would come, because I know you. No. You don't have to explain it to me, because it is destiny that you and I can't live in the same world. I will stay here as the Forest Sage and help you. Now please take this medallion. You receive the Forest Medallion. Sari awakens as a sage and adds her powers to yours. I will always be your friends. Okay! The Great Deku Tree is still dead. What's this? Hi there, I'm the Deku Tree Sprout. Because you and Saria broke the curse in the Forest Temple, I can grow and flourish. Thanks a lot. Hey, have you seen your old friends? None of them recognize you with your grown-up body, did they? That's because the Kokiri never grew up. Even after seven years, they're still kids. You must be wondering why only you have grown up. Well, as you might have already guessed, you are not a Kokiri. You are actually a Hyrolean. I am happy to finally reveal this secret to you. Some time ago, before the King of Hyrule ununified this country, there was a fierce war. One day, to escape from the fires of the war, a Hylian mother and her baby boy entered the Forbidden Forest. The mother was gravely injured. Only her choice was to entrust the child to the Deku Tree, the guardian spirit of the forest. The Deku Tree could sense that this was the child of destiny, whose fate would affect the entire world, so he took him into the forest. After the mother passed away, the baby was raised as Kokiri, and now, finally, the day of destiny has come. You are a Hylian and we're always bound to leave this forest. And now, you've learned your own destiny, so you know what you must do. That's right, you must save the land of Hyrule. Now, HL, break the curse of, on all the temples and return peace to Hyrule. It was a surprise to learn what that Sari is one of the sages, wasn't it, HL? I wonder how Sheik knew. Anyway, off to the time, Temple of Time. Okay, so, <laughs> let's go to the Temple of Time. I believe this is part 19? Wow. <laughs> I've been recording uh, 16 through this episode all in a row. Also, it's completely safe in here now that all the monsters are gone. But yeah, I, <laughs> I usually binge play or binge record four to five parts at a time after practicing, so, uh, this is the end of my practicing stuff, after this episode I will be <laughs> all done practicing, have, having practiced, so I don't know where to go, so, this will end my play journey thing, I don't know, either way, let's go to Temple of Time, there are a couple things we need to do, um, Actually, I think we should go to Koki uh, Kakariko first before we go to the Temple of Time. Because I do need to get some things here. Let's do that quickly. Okay. Kakariko Village. We have 53 Skultulas, which is all the Skultulas we are going to be getting in this, uh, in my, where I am in practicing. But, if we go into the Skultula house... Did 
this guy is finally happy. The curse has been broken. Thank you. Piece of heart. Um, the final one we need to do is this guy, and he needs a hundred Skultulas to be healed. So we'll have to do that sometime. That's going to be very close to the end of the game when we do it. But, it's time to do this. And as much as I hate it, I actually did it on my first try in my practice file, so let's hope I can do this. So, just like... The slingshot when you were a kid, you have to do the uh, rupee challenge again with the bow. And they do it in different orders. No! Yeah! Really? It's not in the same order. Dang it! Actually, it might be in the same order. Yeah, seems like it. No! Wow. Nah, it's a different order. Okay. It's a random order every time. Dang it. I think it is, at least. Seems like it. Okay, that sucks. <laughs> Crap. So let's play in Curse. Okay. Very good. Okay, and we get the big quiver. Now we can hold 40 arrows. There we go. And that's all we need to do in Kakariko Village. For now. Um, now we do have to do some other things. You're gonna, you're gonna be getting a lot of rupees <laughs> by the end of this part, like, easily maxed out rupees. So, I suggest if you have anything you need to do, like, if you still haven't bought all the, um, beans, I suggest you do that because you're going to be getting so many rupees. Um, yeah. <laughs> do not buy, uh, the only thing I say is do not buy potions because you need your bottles for this, uh, next thing we have to do. But let's go to the Temple of Time. Like they said, like the Great Decker Tree said. Okay, now I need to start talking quite kind, of, kind of loud because the stupid uh, Nintendo is going to claim it. Um, hey, Sheik. What you doing? Getting claimed? Yeah. You destroyed the wicked creatures that haunted the temple and awakened the sage. But there are still other sages who need your help. In order to awaken all the other sages, you must become even more powerful. You must travel to over mountains, underwater, and even through time. If you want to return to your original time, return the Master Sword to the Pedestal of Time. By doing this, you will travel back in time seven years. If you want to challenge the mighty foes you've defeated again, make for the bed in your childhood home. In the realm of your dreams, you should be able to face them anew. The time will come when you will have to return here quickly. I will teach you to, uh, I will teach this to you for when the time comes. The song of, uh, this song to return you to the Temple of Time, the Prelude of Light. You have learned the Prelude of Light. 
As long as you hold the Ocarina of Time and the Master Sword, you hold time itself in your hands. HL, we shall meet again. Okay, we now know the Prelude of Light. And we're about to be doing a lot of cutting around to collect big pose. Uh, there are ten big pose scattered around Hyrule Field. Uh, it does not matter the time of day you do it, day or night. But we need to catch these ten big pose, and um, we're going to put them in our bottles. So we do need to use a fairy. Trust me, it's going to save you a lot of time if you just free up your three bottles. So, let's go over here and into here, where we saw this guy a couple parts ago. Hello. Oh, you're quite an energetic young man. You're brave and handsome too. Uh, creepy? <laughs> Your name is HL, isn't it? <laughs> Don't be surprised, I can read people's minds. If I looked at as good as you, I could run a, di a different kind of business. <laughs> My shop is the only ghost shop in Hyrule. Because of the great Ganondorf, it is a fine time for business like this. Oh, I can only hope the world gets even worse. The ghosts called Poes are spirits of the concentrated hatred that appear in the fields and graveyards. They hate the world. Young man, if you catch a Poe, I pay a lot of money for it. Okay. So I'm going to be going around Hyrule and I'm, or Hyrule Field. And we need to catch 10 big Poes, and they're scattered everywhere. So, let's get on Epona, and you must do this on top of Epona, and get going. Over here is the first Poe. We need to ride near this lake, and hope that we will summon it. Uh, just ride around in circles until we get to it. You need to be on Epona for the big pose to appear. Okay, come on. There's a certain place where you can summon it, but you don't want it to be going towards the wall. You need to summon it like this. Um, I think you need to be going fast is the problem. Hmm. As you see, I summoned it, <laughs> but I can't seem to get it to summon anymore. I've already used four arrows and I can't hit it. Come on. Another, an easy way to get it to summon... Oh, there we go, there we go, there we go. Don't you dare! There we go. This is why you want the quiver right now. Now we just ride over here and claim our first of ten... Pose. I would like to catch it. There we go. See you where the next bow is. Right here, in front of Lonlon Ranch. There we go. Uh, in front of Lonlon Ranch, there is a bow. And, like, literally, if you drive, ride right by that, the entrance to Lonlon Ranch, you will get the big bow. I'll see you where the next one is. The pose in this general area. It could even be different for you, riding over a certain section. A certain angle also helps. You need to be good with the arrows because if you miss too many times, it goes away and you have to do it again. <laughs> it's very irritating. I'd like to catch it. Now we're going to be riding back to the castle because we can only hold three. And we're going to be going to talk to the guy. Give him our three Poes. Now, uh, if you talk to him, he doesn't do anything. You have to show him the Poe by tapping the bottle. He brought a Poe. There's a big Poe. He'll buy it for 50 rupees. He'll also put 100 points on our card. If we get 1,000 points, oops, he'll give us something special. Another big Poe. Another 50 rupees. Another 50 rupees. Also, if you run low on 
um, money, you can easily get some more by going to Kakariko. I believe it's Kakariko. There's some shop, and you can buy more arrows. If you run low on arrows, I meant. So I'm going to see where the next pose are. Right around this little wall-ish thing, you can see where I am on my map. Um, there should be a Poe right there. There we go. I'd like to catch it. I will see where the next Poe is. Okay, here we are. I hate this Poe so freaking much. Because it always seems to be too difficult to get. The way you summon it is by going underneath this little area. And I can never... Okay, I just got that on my first try. <laughs> okay, um... Yeah, you need to go underneath that little rock formation type thing, and it is brutal to get. Took me about 20 minutes on my practice file. I'll see where the next Poe is. Okay, am I gonna get it? Yeah! <laughs> I am so low on arrows, that took so long to get. Okay. Let's get down and grab this Poe. And I'm actually gonna stop in Kakariko, which rhymes, sadly, <laughs> to get some more arrows. I believe it's Kakariko, I'm almost positive it is. I will see you inside there if it is. If it's not, I'll see you wherever I can get arrows. Right here in Kakariko, we have this guy's face up here on this door. Or near this door. And inside, they're a little pricey, but we have tons of money now. And we can buy some more arrows. Okay, I will see you where I drop off the pose. Here we go, in the market again, and we're gonna go drop it off to this guy. Oh, oops. <laughs> Tap the bottles. There we go. 50 rupees. Another 50 rupees and another 100 points for our card. Oops, dang it. And another 50 rupees. <laughs> okay. Let's go get some more pose. Here we are near the same area again, but this time we're going a little further down. Oh, come on. There we go. And another Poe. We have to go down to the bottom of the Hyrule field while we are killing Poes. So while we're here, we're going to visit Lake Hylia. And just see how much has changed in seven years. Also, go see that plant we planted. Let's do this really quick. Lake Hylia. Like everything, it's changed quite a bit. Now we can go on to our thing. Make sure you jump off, because this takes a long time to go around. Also, there are bats. Um, jump here. There are gonna be bats. Like that. Oh, those are actually crows, but still. That screwed me over. <laughs> Made me wait for the plant to come back. On my practice file. And we can get a piece of heart. Okay, and now let's take Tektite. Go away. Go away, Tektite. Opponent's okay. Okay, so let's go over here and talk to the Scarecrow and see if he remembers us. Okay. Hey, Scarecrow! Hey, aren't you that fairy buddy, uh, buddy you met a long time ago? Wow, you grew up, dude. Well, here's your song. What? I didn't- no, I never forget. Okay. Okay. Uh, it's R R La La.
Scarecrow song. Oh yeah, that's it. That's the tune. You rock. I'm blown away. Okay. So he's basically telling us that if we ever need a Scarecrow, we can just play that song and he'll come. So, let's go over here and go back and get some more Poe's. Near this rock up here, there should be a Poe. Pretty sure there should be a Poe. Right there. Nope, I'm not going to get that one. Okay. There we go. Got it. We only have two Poe's left. This isn't taking nearly as long as I thought it would. Okay. Climb onto a Pona. And extremely close to where that Poe was, there's one up here. Near this road. Somewhere near this road. Oh, there it is. I missed it that time. Um, there, again, if you run through the grass, you can always get some arrows. But you have so much money that it's just going to go to waste if you don't buy some arrows, so why waste your time? Nope. Didn't come that time. Come on. You need to actually, you can't just uh, rapid fire because when he's hit, it'll go right through him. So you need to pause and wait. And there we go. That's our ninth Poe. Let's go back and deliver it. And then there's one, there's one more after that. Okay. So let us deliver these Poe's to him. Um, okay. If we, <laughs> he always says, if we earn a thousand, you'll be a happy man. So he's clearly going to give us something awesome. Okay, we have 900 points. We need to find one more Poe. Okay, right near this intersection, there should be a Poe right there. Nope, I, I missed. Okay. Let's go back around. Opponent's supposed to jump over that, by the way. And here we go. Last Poe. Ugh, finally. <laughs> okay. Let us grab the Poe. And go back and get our reward. Man, I can't wait. All this work. It's gotta be something great, right? I'm not even gonna cut this out. We already have 500 rupees, so... We have more money than we know what to do with. Come on. Okay. 900 points. Oh, you brought a Poe today. Hmm. Very interesting. This is a big Poe. I'll buy it for 50 rupees. On top of that, I'll put 100 points in your card. If you earn 1,000 points, you'll be a happy man. Wait a minute. Wow! You've earned 1,000 points! Young man, you are a genuine ghost hunter. Is that what you expected me to say? <laughs> because of you, I have extra inventory of big Poes, so this will be the last time I can buy one of these ghosts. You're thinking about what I promised would happen when you reach 1,000 points. Don't worry, I didn't forget. Just take this. An empty bottle. That is the greatest gift we could have gotten. <laughs> you were expecting me to be angry. Bottles are so incredible in this game because you can hold all sorts of things. We finally have every single bottle in the game, all four of them. Yes. Bottles. So let's go to the Temple of Time, and we're going to be going back in time to when we were a kid, and I'm going to be planting that bean before ending this episode that I had forgotten on episode 15. So, let us go through here, 
one of the most claimed areas <laughs> in all the Let's Play. And let us put the sword back in the pedestal of time. If we can line up ourselves with the pedestal of time. Okay. We're now a kid again. And I will see you in the uh, desert area. See you there. Okay, so here we are in Gerudo Valley. And I did miss planting this bean earlier in episode 15. So, we need to do that. Get up onto this. And, let's go over here. And plant the bean. There we go. So, thank you all for watching. Remember, please subscribe. This has been Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Next time, I'm not sure what we're going to be doing. Um, we're definitely going to be going back to Adult Link right now. <laughs> um... It has been quite a long recording session I've had. And we now have so many items. We've got just one more heart piece until we have another heart container. We have 53... Yeah, 53 Golden Skulltulas. We have two of the medallions. Next time I think we're going to be going and searching for where the next medallion is. So thank you all for watching. And goodbye.